guys welcome back to my brand new youtube video hey today is one of the last days of the season so we're gonna play Lara with the deck i know how to play the best so it is mega knight bait deck it's 3.3 elixir deck it has a lot of goblins so currently we are 6406 and we're gonna start pushing we have a, a weekend left so yeah it's gonna be interesting weekend let's Let's hop into some games. Okay, we are in a first game of today. He's already starting screaming. Don't scream, my dude. Don't do it. Let's give him some exclusive emote. And let's see what he's actually playing. Okay, so he has a musky. We're gonna play our miner on a safe corner. We're gonna play bats here. Mm, let's see what he's gonna do. I don't like to use very expensively at the start since I need to find out what he's playing, but my cards are not loading. Perfect, now we got some hits. He does have minus, so it's not 2.6, that's for sure. Let's see what he does. Mm, okay, we know. It's that crazy balloon cycle deck. He doesn't have Nado, so we should use that in our advantage. We can zap this as well to destroy the musky. Zap in this deck is very crucial to be very quick with zapping things. Like zap can win you many games. If you zap enough quickly, you can win a lot of games. In many cases, zap is the, the game changer of this deck. If you are very quick enough to zap some things, you can destroy the tower. Especially with Inferno Dragon. You can uh, very easily destroy their towers with Inferno Dragon locked. If they don't zap it, they lose it. So that's pretty good. But this the, this uh, particular matchup is really difficult because he's playing um, a cycle deck. It can easily outcycle you, snowball your bats. So I'm gonna split my bats. And I'm gonna just ship a little bit minor. Okay, so he's probably gonna push this loon into us here. When this is crossing the bridge. Uh, probably snowballing that, yeah. But it is fine. We can still zap it. And get some damage. Uh, you need to apply pressure, especially if your opponent is playing a Balloon Cycle deck. You can easily push a lot of loons into you guys. So be careful with that. He needs to defend, otherwise he loses his tower. And now it's too late to do anything. Even if it's connected, it doesn't have much time left. So it's very, uh, in this particular matchup, it's very uh, important to pressure. Otherwise you guys lose because they can snowball your Inferno drag and Balloon can easily connect to your tower, especially if Miner is shipping on your tower. So be careful with this matchup. It is not an easy one because uh, he can cycle those Balloons pretty quickly. Okay, we are in a match against this guy let's start with cyclic he has snowball and mega that's not a good thing but we can do nothing so let's see we can maybe go I just love when they have magic archers guys so it's amazing contra we're gonna try to uh, Destroy the P.E.K.K.A that's gonna come right now. Oh, he has barbs. Oh, that's super cute. And arrows. Okay, it's getting interesting. He has arrows, he has barbs. I think he's playing lava deck, but it, we're gonna find out if it's a lava deck. Good game. Yeah, and his confidence is amazing too. Okay. Yeah, good luck. Good luck! We're gonna start pushing. See what's up. 
He does have magic archer. Gonna leave this and uh, make a knight magic archer. Or maybe not. Alright, so this side's the snowball that side. We're gonna play bots immediately on this mega. And mega jump, which is amazing. Now we can take this tower. The problem with this guy, he has arrows. But 254 is not too bad. Okay. We're gonna wait. He does have a barbs and miner. Which is gonna play miner here and ship. A magic archer is one of those cards that can be really annoying. And stays alive. Look at the my luck, guys. It's okay. It is fine. Interesting that let's hop into another game. Okay. Against Creamy Crown Royale is our next opponent. Let's see. Goblin King on the bridge. I just don't like how the rotation of the cards is happening. It's really bad, honestly. I don't know if it's the same on the Android devices or just on iPads, but it's not the best at this point. It's just uh, you can take the wrong card because of this rotation, which is really slow. Okay. It happens to me lately a lot, and I never had that issue before. Goblin gang. We're gonna try pressure. I was playing Pekka with a Tesla. This is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Pekka with the Tesla, it's it's really interesting. Honestly, don't know what he's exactly playing, so I'm gonna try to save my Inferno Dragon if I need to. I'm gonna take the hit. Ah, uh, that's very unusual deck. It's gonna be fun. So he has archers and skeletons in cycle with the P.E.K.K.A down. Okay, let's start with the spear goblins here. And he decided to play Tesla, which is pretty fine. We can play goblins and m more stuff here. Oh, he has poison too. Okay, this is getting difficult and difficult. I'm gonna take the damage. I don't know what this guy's playing. Looks like some kind of cycle deck with poison. Hmm. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Where did you came up with that deck? Pekka eggs ball. My god, I'm super low there.
This is fun, guys. Fun decks. It's very hard when he has uh, all of the other stuff very cheap. Because he doesn't have for the Pekka. Oh, maybe he does. Wow, he has 7 Elixir for the Pekka and 7 for the Expo. We have to over lose. Oh my god, what a game. What a dick. <laughs> the problem with this guy was having Xbo running Pekka. Whew. Okay, we are in another match against York. <laughs> that last game versus Pekka Expo took my energy away. Okay, let's start with the gang here. See what the spell. So he has E Wiz, which is fine. Probably has Zap too. Mega Minion. Maybe it's not the Pekka. He does have Zap, Pekka, and Mega Minion. That's that's okay. And we're gonna leave this. Okay, so he has Dark Prince too. Always fun. Turn my Mega Knight around. It's always good to have placements for the Mega Knight to protect your Mega Knight from the odd like stuff you exactly need. Okay, so he has double prints and Electro Wizard and stuff. Very unusual. York, what do you actually play? Giant? Probably. Probably meant a giant deck. Okay, we're gonna gank here. He's gonna minor us. We're gonna play here goblins. And then we're gonna zap the prince. Don't get the charge. Which is quite important in this matchup. Yeah, now we need um We're gonna play Prince on the other side. Super dangerous! 
No, he's making mistakes, so it's helping me a lot. And he won the game! I couldn't do nothing. He had million poison and stuff, double brain. Okay! Let's hop into another game. Another one! Let's start with the spear goblins on the bridge. I just hate, hate card rotations. It just doesn't work properly and it's visible. Let's go, miner. He is running a Pekka deck with the ghost version. That can be pretty uh, difficult. Especially if he double in pressure us. It can be super difficult. Oh, he has the worst Pekka version. Oh my goodness. Where did I came up with you now? If he knows exactly what he needs to do, he wins this game. And I can do nothing about it. We're gonna wait at this cross the bridge. Venom Dragon is going on our way, which is not too bad. We're gonna try to uh, protect our Venom Dragon. Okay, we managed. Actually, not that bad. We can pressure with the bats. Nice. Okay, we get the. I'm just gonna spear goblins here. 717. He had a very. I'm having a hard matchup here. This version is very difficult because of magic archers. If he's stocking much more magic archers, I'm losing the game because I don't have a big spell. But for me, luckily, he doesn't do that, so it's perfect. He decided to zap that. I'm, I'm okay taking this uh, damage. Okay, now it's time to defend. And this is not gonna be easy. I'm gonna try to like protect and destroy this magic archer. If we can. Okay. Now the game is over. This is a very hard matchup. But uh, his mistake was not stocking Magic Archer, otherwise, he would win the game. There is no way he can lose this game versus this deck. Okay, we got this. And uh, let's see, this is the last game for today. Let's see what this guy is playing. Let's start with this and let's start with Spirit Goblins. I usually like to do that. I hope it's not the same deck. The Magic Archer is a nightmare. Okay, so this is not gonna be easy. Looks like our friend here is playing Pekka Ram Rider deck. Yeah, it's a Pekka Ram Rider deck. I don't know if he has lightning or he is running. He does run E ways with this. Let's play Bad Smiter. He's gonna use E ways. Interesting E ways, so he needs to use Snowball. He doesn't play that quite the best
just sacrificing that for Ram Rider for a lot of elixir. Okay, so the thing is, the magic archer is annoying. Let's go gang here. I need to cycle to another Skelly Barrel. We're still fine if that Pekka goes down. play the goblins here is gonna connect but it's not that big of the deal just a little bit of connection Problem is he has a lot of stuff to uh He was as the one that's messing us up. Okay, we win the game. I hope. We got this. It was a little bit difficult matchup, but hey, pick a Ram Rider deck. Pick everywhere with this deck, but it's fine. You can easily beat Pekka decks. I'm telling you. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs>